welcome to the Science Museum for the opening of Information Age, an occasion that marks the completion of a landmark project and the beginning of a renaissance for the Science Museum. And as the Royal Standard flies over the museum this morning, we should remember that this is by no means Her Majesty's first visit. We are honoured to welcome you again. There are over 800 objects in the gallery, 80 of which come from BT. Therefore, how splendid that BT joined this project early as lead principal sponsor. We have also been supported by three outstanding innovators in technology, education and culture. Arm, Bloomberg Philanthropies and Google. We have benefited from remarkable loans too. So we are delighted that our friends at CERN have sent us Tim Berners-Lee's next computer. Every museum in the world wants the first server for the World Wide Web, and it has found the right home. And our final thanks go to a vital organization, the first and largest funder of the gallery, the Heritage Lottery Fund. The fund has long been a great ally of this museum, and I'm sure that we are going to do many more groundbreaking things together. I mentioned earlier that Queen Victoria took a great interest uh, in the telephone, and Your Majesty has followed in this fine tradition of embracing new technology. Uh, you made the first live Christmas broadcast in 1957, uh, and in 1976 you became the first monarch to send an email. So, um, Your Majesty, may I uh, invite you to uh, approach the tablet on the podium there, because uh, this morning, ladies and gentlemen, Her Majesty is going to send her first tweet.